Weird. Things are weird. This is weird. I'm weird. Why? Because that's the way I like to live my life. I don't remember how I got into trains so much, but it's been here. Now that I see them, I'm wondering what got me here. I can't ride them, but I can because that's the way we're gonna talk about weird Thomas, but how? Ask around. Look around. That's the way we can get things done, and that's how I do it. It's easy and simple, cause you know what to do. I actually added the bird sound effect, there's actually no birds outside. This video is getting very weird. When are we actually gonna talk about Thomas? Oh, that's right. How do you create Thomas? Wood. It even says it in the name. Wood. How do you get wood? Trees. Chop down a tree. Machine the wood. From the chop down tree. Carve it into a Thomas? Easy. That doesn't look right. Paint the wood. Oh wait, before you paint it, prime it. Let it dry. Where? From the sun. Now you can eat sunlight. You dried it. Congratulations. Now paint it blue. Wow. Oh my god. So cool. You're such a genius. You're still not right though. We need graphics. That was easy. Now we need magnets and wheels. Hell yeah, now we got business. Said learning curve. How do we scale it? Let's go to China. Yikes. Now we have more workers. I think we should show some gratitude. What should we give them? Keychain. Okay. Oh, also we have some stockholders that are slightly more important people. What should we give them? Keychain. But make it fancier. Ooh, whistle. Coal. Wheels. Is this me or is the face shiner too? This is the very first Thomas ever made. Not true, said Arrogant5. Okay, said me. But it's a prototype. They use hero wheels, hero magnets, triple staple. Um, why is there a face? I bought this from Roy Wilson. When he sent me pictures, it didn't have a face. But when I went to go pick it up, it had a face. It's like Leonardo da Vinci coming out from his grave and decides one day he's gonna paint the eyebrows. I really don't know what to feel about it. Still love it, so I'll keep it. So now we're in the year 1999. Thomas Wooden Railway trains are everywhere. By the way, we're still trying to kill Brio for making Thomas. We'll eventually do it. We did it. Let's leave our mark with character cards, said Galen. I mean, hit? Is it still a learning curve? Character cards are a two-dimensional piece of paper that contains train pictures. US, UK. US, UK. Can you tell the difference? The UK card seems to be zoomed out. Weird. Oh well. I'm slightly on the verge of breaking character, and these are more characters. There is a single flaw in the set of figure that we never address and it only gets worse. What is it? Figures are larger than the trains. How are they supposed to get inside? Shrink down the figures. Questions? You swallowed your princess? How'd she taste? I just swallowed. Oh no, never mind. Scale it back up again. That is not good. So let's make him bigger, said Learning Curve. And I just have to say, the detail of the Sir Topham hat looks insane. It looks very real. Look at his stoic face. I was admiring Sir Topham hat until I realized Mr. Sir Topham hat here is probably working 24-7 with no sleep holding that stop sign day and night. And here I am enjoying life. It made me appreciate my life. Mr. Jolly's dining car is pretty fun. This dude is rocking a mustache. Stashes are cool. This dude is not cool. I don't have the same version of the chef from the advertisement, but look, they finally fixed the problem. The chef is actually able to hop inside the car. The green car is called Mr. Jolly's chocolate car, and the roof is able to go up and down. Fun. Cheerio, Thomas. According to GeoVigilant, this was a 1999 Canada only promotion where you'd have to buy two boxes to be able to get the Thomas and Cheerio cargo car. If you zoom in, there's a Thomas token coupon that you can use. I feel like it's one of those coupons that your girlfriend kind of gives you on your birthday or someday and when you say you're gonna use it, she's like, what the fuck? And goes to you. This box also says cereal for Millennium. Metallic Percy and James with the unpainted wagon. I really never understood this. Metallic Percy and James give me these very fancy, luxurious vibe while the unpainted wagon is a piece of wood. Guess what happens next? Sonic Fan 2009, whose birthday is in 11 days. Happy birthday. Post it. I don't think that's Flora. I fully concur, man. I feel you. Then I started scrolling even further and found even weirder stuff. Edward Diesel Lady. That's not all. Is it just me or does the stripes look a bit curvier than usual? And I know what you're gonna say. Curvier, you just met her. Then I found this link on the photo. After going to their website, it looks like they sell a lot of fakes. 
Hmm, I scroll further and I realize I was dabbling into some serious weirdness here. Check the back of the James. Confused? Think carefully, and you just might figure out what the darn thing is. It's supposed to showcase the character card, so yeah, you could say it's a factory sample, but I don't think so. Why? The train is also weird. The fonts are very thin, sloppy, and just something about the body, face, wheel is yelling at me saying that this could be a fake James. Gems for display? I have a suspicion this is also fake. The land of Australia. Ever since the 1990s, Australia had this regulation where toys were age 3 and up, instead of 2 and up. For most trains, they used stickers to cover the 2 and up. However, released in 2005, there came an international packaging with track pieces. Why is it weird? It is an international box that said HIT. Most HIT logo boxes had 2 plus or a 3 plus sticker, but this just says 3 plus. Weird. Meyer Exclusive Bundles Also made in Australia, it is weird. These boxes share the same SKU codes for all packaging and was supposedly sold at Meyer stores in 2006. You can get a Caroline with a recycling car, but also a Caroline with a Gordon. Tired of using wood for everything? Use metal. Oh wait, that's a take along. Psych is Thomas Wooden Railway. Even though I don't see the wood. Oh look, there's an employee gift for Thomas Wooden Railway. And yes, it's not a take along. I have proof. You know what else is weird? Not hitting that subscribe button. And also this caboose. Okay, yes, it's just a caboose, but let me show you something. Soder line caboose. That's not weird. Oh wait, how did this happen? I just came to the realization that this caboose might have more personality than me because I'm still a piece of garbage. I found some epic music online. I thought it was funny to put it in whenever I ask around. Cubelite gave me his top 5 weird list and two of them were Tree on the Track and Henry and the Elephant. Like, are you the patrol officer Mr. Tree? Mr. Tree here has the innate ability to chop and unchop himself to do his job and the elephant is 2D. How is he able to stand there? I don't understand. Then I asked Photo Negative. He said he loves the Apple Orchard car with the forklift. I do have to say they are pretty cool. It's cool how they include the forklift that can actually go on top of the towing truck. The forklift works! Let's check out the new era for Thomas Wood. Bye, said Edward. Bye, said Henry. Hi, said Mr. Jolly. I wonder how long this Thomas Wood thing will last, said me. Remember Thomas Wood and Railway? Yep, said Mattel, asking, does anybody know how to bring this shit back without admitting we failed? Let's change the face. Let's change the wheels. Let's just change everything.